you. You aren't with the Forsworn, are you? Uh, pe My family came here centuries ago. We made a good living smithing the silver that flows through the city. But you probably wanted to know about the fancy carvings and stonework, didn't you? Travelers always do. Here. I have a delivery I need to make to Kalsimo. Why don't you take it to him? He knows the history of Markarth better than anyone. Thank you. He can be a bit difficult, but I'm sure he'll appreciate your help. Hey, stop by my stall in the market sometime. Bloody enough for you, outsider. Markarth, is it bloody enough for you? If I was threatening you, believe me, you'd know it. You outsiders never learn. If the Four Sworn don't get you, the guards will throw you in Sidna mine to work your fingers off. Think that's water in the river? Blood and silver are what flows through Markarth, friend. It's right there in the name of the most powerful family in Markarth, the Silverbloods. They have a whole mine filled with prisoners to dig up silver ore, get smelted by workers they pay, and they own half the city. I work for them. The inn is named after them. When the guards make an arrest, they check with them first. No. I live in a nice house in solitude, where the air isn't filled with smoke from the silver smelters, and golden-haired girls shine my shield. Been here ever since I left the Bard's College. Turns out a few muscles earn more gold than a damn loot. The Silverbloods pay me, let me crack a few skulls, and keep the guards off my back. That's all I need. Jarl is who you want to talk to. Always coined to be made killing off some Forsworn in the hills. As long as you don't mind going axe to axe with a bunch of Daedra-worshipping savages who practice the dark arts. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Heard you broke out of Sidna mine with those My fa horn. but you, you probably here. How many died? I have a delivery I need to make. Thank you. He can be a bit difficult, but I'm sure he'll appreciate your help. Bloody hey, enough for you, outsider. Then you found your home, friend. Blood and silver are what flows through Markarth. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink. My favorite Force drink. Forsworn rampaging through the Let's streets. Has it business? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Ah, Boli finally got someone out here. Well, it's about time. I've been waiting for weeks. Well, thank you for bringing it, I suppose. Have a good day. What? Oh! Oh! How could I have possibly forgotten? Your reward, of course. Of course. What do we have then? Here you are. Something so sorry about that. Stew, perhaps. Uh, another Still foul there, day at the smelter. I stay. Mm -hmm. Of course. Mm -hmm. I've been working with you for over ten years and all the I said alms, you backfire! Mm -hmm. Give a cripple worker a help. Sometimes I think we deserve these miserable Why lives the of ours. Me alone. Need something?
something? Keep your hands to yourself. Yes. I'd better get going. This is the silver bl Thank you. Here. This is for you. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Unlike my husband, Clever, I watch after our guests. Here I'm what you'd call a soldier of fortune. Something no other woman Let me know if there's anything else you need. One set of bracelets in a style that is popular with the nobility and Sentinel. Sentinel? That's in Hammerfell, correct? I'm gonna be a silversmith. They're only worn by the. I'll let you figure they out. They are popular with the nobility so. there, yes. Good day, friend. Keeping well? Even the dead need company. That's what RK provides. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You keep an old man hope. I'm Calselmo's nephew. I help him around the laboratory. I have things. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting to pick that up. Poor Kira. Such a patient woman. Now you're supposed to get something for your trouble, aren't you? How about some gold? People seem to like that, I notice. What? Uncle oh, Kassab. What is it, nephew? Can't you see I'm trying to think here? I just wanted to know if you need it.
The Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. Perhaps I can assist you. So angry, he hardly Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. But I don't want to be patient. I want my dress right now. Father promised. All you ever do The task of steward is more important than you You're realize. You're a spoiled boy with a new servant? I'm going to tell Father you said that. He'll tan you Father says I'm too dead. young to train with the sword. So I practice with my fist. Father. We are but mad. Riding in the field of our own corruption. What do you need, my friend? Some may call this junk. Me? I call them treasures. Remember, fresh fruit and vegetables every day. Need something? Take a look. See you. Got some good pieces out. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Take a look. I, that I do. I've got to, if I hope to be as good as Yorland Greymane someday. In fact, I just finished my best piece of work. It's a sword. I made it for the Jarl, Balgruf the Greater. It's a surprise. I don't even know if he'll accept it, but... Listen, could you take the sword to my father, Preventus Avenici? He's the Jarl's steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. Thanks. Looking to protect yourself, or deal some damage?
off if you need anything. I serve Jarl Balgruf as steward. The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. From Adrian? Ah, this must be that weapon for the Jarl. Poor girl. So eager to prove herself. I'll present it to Balgruf when his mood is agreeable. Thank you. Please, take these few coins for services rendered. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Divine smile on you, friend. My position, Dean of History, actually covers a wide range of subjects. I teach poetry, writing, history, and the finer points of court life. At last! I have searched for this drum for 20 years. The college treasury is a bit thin right now, but I can show you some tricks I learned from my days with the army. I suppose I should return to my papers. Fascinating time to be alive. Mark me, these days will be remembered long after we're gone. If you love history, you're in the right place. Skyrim is steeped in it. yourself. I'm waiting. 
That I am. Train the recruits. Turn boys into men. That sort of thing. Thinking of asking the general for some training books. Give the soldiers something to do while they're on rest. Something besides drinking. Ever seen a book called The Mirror? We used to hand it out to boys looking to learn basic shield work. Good on you. Not my finest hour. Rogvir was a fine and honorable man. Sometimes, you just do what needs to be done. You don't have to hate a man to kill him. Though, admittedly, it helps. Their aim could be steadier, but they're battle ready. Keep my men in... Generally posting information is need to know only. I... I've been trying to find the time and place to let her know. Her daughter was sent to Whiterun. The skirmishes there have been violent. The Whiterun legate, he needed to know the Stormcloak positions. He sent out a party to scout the area. They happened upon a large force. I'm told none of them made it back. Private Morard, Angela's daughter, was in that scouting party. She needs to be told. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. Let me know if you see anything you like. It's good to see a fresh face. You wouldn't have happened to come from White Run, would you? You got Aldous to tell you something. I knew you would. What did he say? I told her. I told her the Imperial Army would kill her. That this was a war of Jarls and Imperial Generals, and we had no part in it. She just wouldn't hear it. It was brave of you to come to me with this. I can't thank you for it, not for this. But you have done me a service. Got lots of things to...
someone there. I'm Gorz's assistant. Gorza is the one you should ask if you need any.
You have the honor of addressing a member of the Thalmor. Bask. We're the ruling body of the Old Mary Dominion. Saviors of Myr. Victors of the Great War. The Empire exists because we allow it to exist. And I'm here to make sure the Jarl of Markarth remembers that. The Thalmor saved all of Elven kind during the Oblivion Crisis. We've been watching over our lands for 200 years. We refounded the Old Mary Dominion, an alliance between us and our Bosma cousins. You might know them from their common name, Wood Elves. We intend to prove the superiority of Myr over man, one century at a time. As if this craggy wretch of a city could give birth to a superiorly bred Myr such as myself. No, I'm not from Markarth. I was sent here to lead the Thalmor's interests in this corner of Skyrim. It's my mission to root out all Talos worship in this city. It's a religious matter. The Thalmor do not recognize Talos as a god. He was only a man and does not deserve a place in our pantheon. The Empire has agreed to accept our beliefs, and its citizens have a responsibility to cease their heretical worship. You're awfully inquisitive, aren't you? I like that. Perhaps you'd care to solve a little problem I'm having. Ogmund the Scout. He's old, respected, and I know for a fact that he worships Talos in his home. But the Jarl has been hesitant to call for his arrest. I want you to break into his home and find evidence. Until next time. Ondolimar is the commander of the Thalmor in Markar. Worship of Talos is strictly forbidden. Stay out of the Outsiders aren't trusted in Markarth. Just keep that in you. mind. You! Who are you to approach Stupid. the Jarl of Markarth? Very well. You may approach the Mournful Throne. But watch your words. Keep your eyes open for Forsworn when you're on the roads. I'm Igman's uncle, as well as his steward. I have letters to read. ...and harass every one of our patrols. Not to mention the rebels completely control Windhelm and all of East March Hold. Why do you pester me with battles we can't win? I need my steward to plan for a victory, not knock me with every ill account. Forgive me for worrying about the future of Markarth. The lifeblood of a city is gold, Igmund, and it doesn't stop bleeding because there's a war on. Very well. I'll send a request for additional legionnaires to protect trade to the other Imperial hordes. Hopefully, Solitude can spare more men. I advise... Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Take care now. As his house, Carl, Igman's security is my chief concern. The Force One know mm -hmm. every stone in the reach. Madanak has been found to be the true murderer of Mark. It all started here, this rebellion. When the Empire lost the reach during the Great War, we became desperate. We promised a group of Nord militia free worship in exchange for their help retaking the hold. Then the elves found out about it. We were forced to arrest all of them. Ulfric Stormcloak, their leader, used the whole thing as proof that the Empire had abandoned Skyrim. The rebels called it the Markarth Incident. It was the founding day for the Stormcloaks, and where this war really started. When the Aldmeri Dominion invaded the Imperial City, the Legion all but turned a blind eye to the other provinces. Many of the disgruntled natives of the Reach used the opportunity to depose the Empire and founded what they called an independent kingdom. It was little more than a chaotic uprising, but the Reach was removed from Imperial authority for two years before we reclaimed it. But the leaders of the uprising refused our offers of peace. They fled into the hills and became the Forsworn. The White Gold Concordant our treaty with the Elves after the Great War forbids free worship of Talos. But that's what we promised Ulfric and his men. It seems foolish looking back, but at the time we were hoping the Elves wouldn't find out. So when they did find out, it was either we arrest Ulfric and the militia, or enter into yet another war with the Aldmeri Dominion. 
The choice was clear. And now, Ulfric threatens the thinly veiled peace we sacrificed so much for. Are you a cell sword? I don't like your kind. No honor. No loyalty. Unreliable. But I can't turn away a potential ally in these times. Let's see if you're better than a common mercenary. My scouts have tracked down one of the Forsworn leaders, hiding out in their blood-soaked camps. Deal with them. We will see. I do. A personal matter. My father died trying to negotiate with the Forsworn, back when that was possible. They took his shield to those Hargraven beasts they consort with. I need you to bring it home where it belongs. I warn you, it's dangerous work. No man of mine has ever faced a Hargraven and lived. I'll understand if you decline. Divines watch over you. Retrieve that shield at all costs. Don't mind the dogs. They get anxious when they haven't had dinner. Before you say anything, no, I am not from the Reach. No, I'm a Breton from High Rock, and I refuse to be mistaken for a filthy native. I don't care if we share the same ancestors. These people are savages. Half of them are forsworn barbarians. And have you seen what they eat? What have I done for the gods to take me so far from my beloved Daggerfall? Yes, the finest court in all of High Rock. You think politics here or something? Well, we Bretons invented politics. That is where I learned to cook, and where I belong. Not here with all these dogs. Until next all right, time. Then. I have to... Anton sure looks like he's from the Reach. Don't tell him that. Silverblood family will be hurt.